Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about installing the IntelliJ IDEA um, coding environment uh, along with Kotlin and then running some brief Kotlin code um, to close. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to type in IntelliJ Community Edition. Um, no matter what platform you're on, whether it's Linux or uh, Mac or Windows, they have you covered here. Today I'm gonna to be covering just Mac, but um, please just go ahead and follow these other instructions um, if you do not have a Mac, obviously. So the first thing that you need to do right here is to download the Community Edition. This will just take um, a couple minutes if you have a pretty fast internet connection. So this is now done downloading. The next step that we need to do is just click on this guy right here. The steps will be a little bit different if you're running Linux or Windows. Um, yes, I'm gonna replace it. Earlier I was just doing a, a practice run to make sure that everything was still working and would work as intended. So now it's just installing it um, for me. This will be done in a second. And after this, all of the steps are going to be steps that you can do with your Windows or your Linux machine. It does not require um, having a Mac. So now we need to look for CE, which is the Community Edition. Hit this. It will start spinning up. What we're actually going to do is we're not going to import any settings. So this will be the same on Linux or on Windows. Uh, we will just skip remaining and set defaults. Now we are going to create a new project. I'm actually going to show you guys how to create a Kotlin project. Kotlin is a wonderful programming language that I uh, really enjoy. And let's just call it um, Kotlin examples um, one and then let's just do uh, finish right here okay great let's just close this out um, if you do not see this toolbar on the side right here so on a Mac if you hit command one you can make it appear and disappear but if you're on something else go to view and then tool windows and then project I believe yep and that will do the exact same thing. So this is important because we need to create a couple folders here. So I recommend creating um, a main folder. And then inside of the main folder, let's create a Kotlin folder. And then inside of the Kotlin folder, let's create a Kotlin filer class and let's just call it hello world.kt. Great, so now uh, the most important step is that we need to create a main function um, this just tells our program where it needs to start. And now we type in print line, hello world. And what we expect to see is hello world printed out to the console. And then we are done. Sometimes this just takes a couple seconds at the beginning, but then it's super fast. All right, here we go. Hello world. And that was, um, installing IntelliJ community edition and also going through a practical very small Hello World example with Kotlin.